Welcome everybody to a brand new series on the channel. Today I am starting, finally, I've been talking about doing something like this for forever. I'm finally starting my own little like time lapse type thing or cinematic building series. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna call it. Probably like time lapse, time lapse building series. But basically today, right now, what I'm doing, I'm working out the terrain in a program called World Painter. But yeah, so basically making an area uh, surrounding the place I'm gonna be building, just making a bunch of mountains surrounding there. And then in the middle, I put a lake and a little like mountain plateau thing sticking up out of the very middle. And that is what we're gonna be building on today. So now we're jumping into the time-lapse mode and I wanna start off by saying I'm running this on a server so I can have the world edit plugin or yeah, world edit, that's what it is. Uh, and right now I'm basically making a path from the top of our mountain down just wrapping down around the cliff and I think it looks pretty good I used sand here uh, in world edit I used sand with the uh, cylinder brush uh, that way it would fall and give more of a natural look to it I, I still went in and cleaned up the cliffs uh, or the sides of it by hand but uh, it really helped out giving a more natural look to the sides of it and I think it turned out pretty good So now you can see me going in by hand, filling in some spots like I just said. And sorry about it getting dark here for a second. I forgot to turn off daylight cycles, so um, yeah, but that'll be fixed for the rest of the series after this clip is over. So I went through and I just replaced all that all that uh, sand with stone with a, uh, a just selecting the area and then uh, doing the command replace sand stone. Now I'm working on the gate for the castle. And I'm making it all out of wool because it's something that a lot of build teams do. They build completely out of wool first and then they texture the build later. Now, right now I'm specifically thinking of Westeros Craft. Uh, the only difference is that they have stairs and slabs out of uh, wool so they can get all the detailing in and everything first and then they just go through with some brushes or some special commands and they just uh, do it all in one go all the texturing in one go and they're done Now I'm starting to lay out some of the walls and I'm using yellow wool So it just contrasts a little better and I don't get a, don't get confused whenever I'm looking at it from a distance So now I'm starting to lay out the keep and I'm using orange wool for this so it stands out a little bit just like I just said. And I wanted, I'm kind of inspired by the uh, the red keep in Game of Thrones for this, well I guess more like the red keep in the books. Uh, some of the illustrations that were done for the book specifically. But yeah, mainly just basing it off of that middle building and I think it's going to turn out pretty good. So here I stacked the little layout I had on the ground there. I stacked it up like 20, 30 blocks or something like that to get an idea of what it was going to look like when it was all filled in. And I decided that it wasn't back far enough. So I grabbed it, I selected it and I did the slash move command and just moved it like two or three blocks. I think, I think three blocks. And then I just went around and uh, fixed up some of the places that were a little screwed up from when we were just planning out that other wall there. Now I'm just getting that final wall in the exterior of the castle and I think it looks pretty good. If we t step back and take a look at it uh, overall, you can see I think it looks pretty good. But now I'm starting to replace all the wool with granite and I'm using the new default textures. So I really like the new granite and I've, I've wanted to build with it for a while. And I think this is the perfect, perfect place to do it. And I think, it, I think it's a really good block palette. I used terracotta and granite. And it might be a little hard to see right now with the, uh, the sun from the shaders, but we'll swing around and get a better view in a second. 
So there we go. Now you can see some of the texturing I'm doing. I'm, I'm leaving a few patches of granite here and there up top, but I'm mostly trying to make it go kind of like in a gradient. So on the bottom, eventually I'm going to get some polished granite in there and then it goes to rough granite and then to terracotta up top. And I think it gives a really nice feel and the colors really go well together. Now I'm starting to get some of the base of the castle built up. I felt like it looked a little bit weird that it was just going straight down into the into the cliff there thinking about it now though if i were to redo this i probably wouldn't do the base there it looks and i think it looks a little bit weird um just for this particular build but i think in most cases it'll still work either way i think it'll look good so i'm just going around and doing a little bit more texturing with the polished granite right now trying to get all of the exterior of the castle have a just at least a little bit of the base of the uh, polished granite. And then we start wrapping around to the front of the castle where I'm gonna start working on some stuff inside. So I start working out an entrance to the keep and just make a small staircase. I'm not going for like a too, too much of a realistic castle. Uh, I wanted to be somewhat realistic looking, but not too, I, I just wanted to look good is the main thing. And you can see I'm adding in some of those windows up top. And now I start working on the roof bit. And I wanted to use, I wanted to try using the gray glazed terracotta. And I thought it looked good at first because it kind of gave the feel that one of my blocks in my texture pack has. Uh, it's like a gray roof tile kind of look. And I, I think it could work in some cases, but I end up changing it to brick in, uh, in a few minutes. And now I'm starting to build up some of the towers and this is where I realized I don't like that block. Uh, mainly because I think, I think it was mainly because I couldn't make a tower out of it, uh, a tower roof. So I decided to get rid of it and I'm just going for the brick slabs. So I got rid of all the sides of it. Now I'm just trying to figure out the shape of it so it looks good from the inside and the outside because we will be doing an interior on this build. Now I start trying to work out that roof again for the tower and I tried to do like a uh, like a, a pointed roof. I don't know what exactly it'd be called. You see it a lot in castle towers. Uh, and then I decided to just go for like the the crenellation type look I think is what it's called. And I decided that was going to be the best look for us, so I moved it around a little bit, uh, tried a few more things with it, and then I eventually ended up copying and pasting it on each tower here. So there we go. That is how it looks, and I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm moving back to the front of the castle again, to the gate, and I start doing some of the crenellations at the front there, and start working on some just around the wall a little bit. As you can see here, I start working on a few more. I did a little texturing and then I start working on uh, some more crenellations on this section of the wall. Then we just go all the way around, just building up crenellations in each section that I haven't done it yet. So now I come inside the walls and start planning out a little bit of uh, a stable area and then start working on a staircase going up to the top of the wall. And I had to try to do a few different things for this. I didn't want it to look too massive, but I also didn't want it to look too small. So this was a little bit difficult, but I eventually got it figured out.
so this is what I went with. I kind of wanted to give that kind of like scaffolding type feel and I think it turned out pretty good. I like it a lot. Now I'm starting to plan out another building here and I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be. I'm kind of thinking an armory type thing because I got an idea. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty cool idea for the last episode of this series, but an armory is going to be very useful. Now I'm coming in and just texturing the inside of the wall here a little bit. Some of it looks a bit rough, so clean it up a little bit. And then I started working on the stable area. Got a little fence in for the horses. And then I start working out the house that is going to be next to the next to the stable. And I saw somebody use these mushroom blocks for like a like a I don't know what, like a, like a tutor type thing, but uh, I thought it looked really good and really cool. So I decided to use it there. I don't remember who it was or else I would credit them. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. So filling in the roof here now, I decided to go with oak because I felt like the color contrasted well with like the reds and the brown, the dark browns. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty good. I like it a lot. Working on the stable area now, I wanted to go for more of like a, a lower slope for the roof there. And I think it looks good. I like it. So that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'm pretty new to this style of video. So uh, if I did something that you noticed was wrong or could be better, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm, I'm kind of getting the hang of this. I want to do a lot more of these when I get back from vacation. I really, really enjoyed doing this video. Uh, so, uh, well, these videos. So let me know. Let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments down below. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.